Listen up, I want to say something. Um, a story about me that happened on June 1st. On June 1st, I went on to the TNT ride out. And um, I don't want to go into too much detail. But I ate it on my bike. I fell off my bike on, I believe it was Laurel Street, going down that hill. Um, and there's the gas station on the right, if you know where that is. I fell right before it. And I guess I had speed wobbles. If I want to do a quote unquote, there was speed wobbles and I lost control of my bike, fell off my bike, uh, got a pretty uh, nasty road rash on my right elbow and uh, the impact I landed on my left knee. Uh, thankfully, I was wearing my old bones therapy knee sleeves. Um, so that lessened the impact. And uh, there's a cut there. There was a cut there. but It's now healing. My right cut is still healing on my right elbow i mean i should say but fast forward to a few days ago which is over a week i went to the doctors to get an x-ray just to be sure because um after that i was limping after that accident i was limping for a few days uh after like three days of my walking was a little bit better but then i've been i've been feeling pain on my heel of my foot so fast forward to a few days ago i went to the doctors uh to see what they have to say and i told them what happened and they said to go get x-rays which i did immediately following that appointment and the, the results were conclusive i don't have any broken or torn ligaments tendons or meniscus tears on my knee thankfully I, I was researching up on knee injuries days afterwards to scare me. I don't know why. But there's nothing wrong with my left knee. I mean, it's definitely... I can still hear it pop and crack a little bit. Um, joints. So I've been taking... I know old people medicine like osteobiflex pills. And Salon Pass and Bengay. You know me. <laughs> but... The major problem here, the major problem here, the major finding was um, I did x-rays on my foot because that was the second thing that was impacted. And it turns out I have damaged tissues in my heel of my foot. So they referred me to a foot doctor, which I'm going to see next month. Uh, in about a month. I know it's a month late, but I'm going to see if I can get an appointment earlier than that to uh yeah correct this problem here um i guess the impact was on my foot rather than my knee the the uh the dangerous part was on my foot rather than my knee which is weird um but i don't know if it was from the accident or was from days after walking uh with that left foot um or if it was the shoes I was wearing. I was wearing um, old school Vans. I don't know if that has a, any any cushion at all. But I was wearing those old school Vans. Um, Vans old school, whatever you want to call them. And uh, that, that was the type of shoes I was wearing. Um, and usually I have shoes with uh, Dr. Scholl's in them. Uh, the foot insoles. So there's no problem with that. But... Hopefully I can see the doctor earlier than, you know, a month uh, to see what's the next plan with my foot and um, see if I can, you know, walk without any pain anymore. It's not excruciating pain. It's not like level 10 pain, but it's definitely level 4 and I can feel it. And if I stand too long on it, it hurts. And if I walk, I can definitely feel it hurting a little bit. But yeah, after that, I, can, I still continue to ride and... Um, I guess I won't be doing any more neighborhood walks for a while. But again, yeah, other than that, that's the story of what happened within the last almost two weeks. So, um, yeah, all I can say is uh, be careful on Laurel Street going down. Don't have any speed wobbles. Uh, take it easy. And, um, yeah, those are some of the damages, the injuries you can get uh, if you fall off your bike. You already know my shoulder injury. Now I thought it was my knee, but now it's really my foot. So I'm glad it wasn't, 
you know, any of my knee injuries because that would have been even more traumatic for me. So uh, be careful out there and uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, if, and if you're wondering if there was any damage to my Savage Flyer, there's definitely a couple of scratches and scrapes. And uh, if you see the video, I definitely changed the handle grips. And there was one big um, scratch and dent or, you know, you know, scar to the, to the, to the frame of the bike. But other than that, it's still functioning. You know, the wheels are aligned. The, the, uh, everything is still great. Um, I did, um, damage part of the seat. That's why I switched it out. And, um, yeah, the derailleur is fine. Everything works great. Um, yeah, that's the only damage to the bike.